So it seems this whole situation that happened with NBA Youngboy might not have just been a random argument. It could actually be much deeper. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so yeah. So apparently, this shooting that happened, the shootout shooting, whatever you want to call it, that happened with NBA Young Boy has allegedly, allegedly, been tying itself to T. Grizzly. For everybody that don't know, T Grizzly is a rap. I believe he comes out of Detroit. I'm not 100% sure. I've only heard a couple of songs of his. Haven't really heard his name that much lately, but allegedly, allegedly, he was supposed to be performing at the uh the festival, the Rolling Loud festival, and a situation happened or there was already an ongoing situation possibly with T Grizzly and with NBA Youngboy, and that was just the culmination of it, the shootout. That is what is being reported. Now, first I just talk about the whole shootout, and then there's something that I want to explain, because there's a good chance that right now, Kodak Black is in jail, and it's because of this. So hold on, let's, let's stop with the Kodak thing for a minute, and let's stay on this. So basically, what they're saying is happening because it was a couple of different stories that was being reported. So I'll tell you the way that I've heard it. And remember, there the way it is right now is really fluid. It seems like there's no actual certainty coming out. Except for the fact that one man has lost his life. And there was a woman who, uh, a young lady, uh, NBA young, girl, young boy's girlfriend. That is, do they call her NBA young girl? I'm just... Anyway, so she's in jail. I mean, in jail. She's in the hospital. Um, minor injuries or... They're not life-threatening, basically, I'm trying to say. So, uh, basically, what they're saying to happen is... The shootout occurred. Uh, the individual that was shot and killed... Actually was not the shooter. But... There was, they had a report, a police report that I had seen. And they, in the police report... They was talking about somebody got shot and they were in a, uh, you know, one of those strip malls and they was in the parking lot of the strip mall. So don't, don't uh, hold me to this. Don't hold me to this. But there is a chance that the shooter actually, you know, got away, was driving and maybe was hit and ended up in the strip mall inside of the car because I don't see any other reason why they would uh, be talking about the person that was in the strip mall and this shooting in the same breath unless they believed them to have been connected. So the only way currently that I can see, I mean, I could be incorrect. Maybe it was just somebody that they were driving past and the, they got shot in, in the gunfire. Maybe that happened also. I mean, I don't know. But the, the point in which I'm trying to make is the news showed that there was somebody in the strip mall and they're connect in a car, and they're connecting these two things together. So we'll see what happens with that a little bit further in the future, obviously. Also, it's being reported that after the shooting happened, the police actually let NBA Youngboy go perform and then arrested him after the event. Now, with that being said, uh, shout out to the police. Okay? I know they get a lot of flack. People are going to talk a lot of shit. There are going to be people that's angry. Why he got to be locked up, but they could have locked him up before all of that happened. You feel me? And then he wouldn't even have been able to perform. And that'd be another artist not performing. But instead, they allow for him to go do his job. And then they said, you know what? We'll sort it out after. So, you know, shout out to them. I, I appreciate them handling it that specific way. And also... Um, that means that they didn't just jump the gun. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't just jump to conclusions. Like, oh man, this is a rapper, shootout happened, 
kill everybody. They didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So obviously while he was on stage performing or while they was going to the event or doing whatever he had to do, they was doing their due diligence to, you know, uh, maybe investigate the situation a little bit further. At least that's what I'm hoping is that was happening. I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, back to the whole Kodak black thing real quick. Um, the reason why I say, the reason why I say Kodak black could possibly be locked up because of this particular event is what people don't really understand. I keep hearing people talking about the FBI go on social media to, to arrest people, right? Yeah, but not YouTube videos for the last time. The FBI isn't trying to find out what us YouTube content creators have found out in order to do their cases. They will go to your IG if you're an artist, find out what the hell you're talking about, see what threats you're throwing. They will do that. They will go to, I guess, if you have a Snapchat or some shit. I don't know what the other what the other things are. Your Twitter and find out who you're beefing with. Yes, they will do that. That is a thing that they do. But in addition to that, there's a good chance that if you're out here on probation, right? If you're out here on parole, there's a good chance they're just listening to your conversations. There's a good... <laughs> okay, so there's this thing that you got to sign right when you uh the judge says okay we're gonna let you out on parole but you have to agree to any type of searches or anything like that basically the police at any time could walk up on you and search you and you can't deny them that ser you can't say shit you don't even need to have done anything is my point you could have done zero things you could have been just walking down the street no crimes committed and you're on parole and the police can just come up to you and check you what I'm thinking is, well, I think on probation also, if I think that's also a stipulation. I'm not 100% sure. But what I'm thinking is a lot of these artists that's on probation and on parole, the police are just listening to your conversations because they can just go get a wiretap on you or whatever because of your situation and your circumstance. You now don't really have freedom. They can just listen to your conversations. So when you're dealing with somebody who has some kind of probation or some parole or something like that, and you're talking to them on the phone, you might be talking to them while there's the FBI or somebody is listening on the conversation, seeing if there's any chatter going on, any crimes about to happen. So there's a good chance that if these two factions actually are beefing, that this is a conversation that, you know, the FBI already knew about. So maybe they were there, trying to stop people from bringing weapons into the event because they had a they had an understanding that certain things might be happening certain things might be going down there might be a shootout these guys are warring we're not sure exactly who's on whose side let's make sure none of them have any weapons because god forbid somebody is on stage and some wacko is shooting at them on stage there's no imagine there's no you can't imagine how many other people will be getting hit just in the crowd so this might be the reason in which why they decided they were going to police anybody coming into the venue this could and, and if that's the case this is why little wayne said you know what i'm not even showing up what the hell what in the heck is going on here and this is why Kodak Black showed up. They checked them, found the guns. I'm under the strong belief that even the people that arrested Kodak Black, they wasn't even there for him. They was there because they already knew that there was going to be some kind of thing going on. They was listening to chatter. That's why I think that Kodak Black got caught all up in. But that's another reason why you have to move smart. You understand what I'm saying? When you're not moving smart, you will get caught up in other people's BS. That's just what it is. Anyway, leave it down in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about this because, come on, whenever you have rappers beefing with each other, the police is not far behind that. You can say what you want, think what you want, act how you want. But when you got two rappers beefing, the police, they close by. That's just a fact. Like, Comment, subscribe, join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers, let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out.
If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.